Welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Let's go talk with Legion. Shepard Commander, we have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core. Did you find anything useful? We were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future. We are prepared to reveal how. The heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us. Make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. So why did you need to go to the Reaper Corps? The heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. If it were released, how quickly would this virus spread through your people? We are networked via FTL com buoys. Most would change within a day. Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoined the network. So, the virus would give all Geth the heretics' logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics. Yes, Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. So the reason they worship the Reapers is a math error? It is difficult to express. Your brain exists as chemistry, electricity. Like AIs, you are shaped by both hardware and software. We are purely software, mathematics. The heretic's conclusion is valid for them. Our conclusion is valid for us. Neither result is an error. An analogy. Heretics say one is less than two. Geth say two is less than three. You know where this thing is? The heretic's headquarters station on the edge of the terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy's stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. They built stations in the Terminus? Where is this thing? Between stars. Organics have no cause to look there. But why do they build stations outside Geth territory in the first place? The heretics seek improvement from the old machines. In exchange, they help them attack organics. We condemn these judgments. What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt their network, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The Reaper data core is physically isolated from the network. We will need to be escorted to it to access and destroy the data. What defenses should we expect? In space, none. Within, mobile platforms of various configuration and non-sentient defense turrets. How many Geth? There may be billions of individual programs. Fortunately, most will be uploaded to the central computer. Only a few mobile platforms are maintained at any time. Others are manufactured when needed. I won't let them brainwash your race, especially not to worship Reapers. You have my word on that. We will begin preparations. Alright, the heretics. Let's go deal with it. Alright, that's Project Overlord. I'm going to deal with that later. Much later. And there's the heretic station. Okay, now, see, 40 energy, 
That I'll take. You know, it's just our heat emissions that are hidden, right? They could look out a window and see us coming. Windows are structural weaknesses. Geth, do not use them. Approach the hull at these coordinates. Access achieved. We may proceed. Alert. This facility has little error gravity. Geth require neither. Won't we be detected? Don't they have intrusion alarms? Sensors have been reduced. We have infiltrated their wireless network and filled the data storage with random bits. And that helps us how? The heretics must scrub this junk data. They have partitioned themselves into local networks working in parallel. Any alarm we trigger will not go beyond the room we are in. Only accessing the main core will trigger a station-wide alert. We've got a job to do. Let's get to it. Shepard Commander. We concluded that destruction of this station was the only resolution to the heretic question. There is now a second option. Their virus can be repurposed. If released into the station's network, the heretics will be rewritten to accept our truth. Either way, these geth won't be a problem anymore. But Shepard, think about this. If you rewrite these geth, they'll join the others. Legion's geth will be stronger. Can we trust them not to attack us in the future? Why didn't you mention this before we came aboard? We did not know the virus was complete. It is. It can be used against the true Geth at any time. Our arrival was timely. They're your people, Legion. You must have an opinion. This is new data. We have not yet reached consensus. We will process as the mission proceeds. I wouldn't brainwash an organic race. I can't see treating the Geth differently. The question is irrelevant. If we do not rewrite them, we destroy them. That is why we are here. Do not hesitate now. They will exterminate your species because their gods tell them to. You cannot negotiate with them. They do not share your pity, remorse, or fear. They will. At least fear part. Or maybe that's just projection. The Geth are inactive. Maybe we can sneak past them. Interrupting data streams will alert local network. We recommend preemptive strikes against hardlink routers. Weapons ready. Shepard, I'm picking up you. Why are all the heretics attached to these hubs? These are mobile platforms. Hardware. The crew is software. They are communing through the station's central computer. I'm not sure I follow. The heretics connect to the main computer to exchange data memories and program updates. We gain complexity by linking together. To be isolated within a single platform is to be reduced. We see less, comprehend less. It is quieter. If you exchange data, memories, how do you keep track of which ones are yours? How do you stay you? There is only we. We were created to share data among ourselves. The difference between Geth is perspective. We are many eyes looking at the same things. One platform will see things, another does not, and will make different judgments. I could see why you'd be conflicted about the heretics. In a way, whatever you do to them, you're doing to yourself. Yes. Once they return to us and upload their memories, we will share their experience of being altered. Every other species I know of might be psychologically scarred by a traumatic experience like that. It is not clear if Geth can be traumatized. We do not feel pain as you do. We cannot predict what the effects will be. Let's keep moving. Yes. Okay. Let's keep moving indeed. We can assume control of any defensive turret. They will assist us briefly, 
then self-destruct. Overriding turret. He's going to meet his people. Okay. Combat imminent. I'd say there is low gravity though in this place, so the you can justify the and just fight out there floating because of that. Keep moving. Alright, we're in combat. This large. The station is over 15 kilometers long. That room may run the length of it. This might be useful. Okay.
Are these databases? Processors. Each contains thousands of Geth. Can't they see us walking by? They are no more aware of us than you are of cells in your bloodstream. This isn't like the other hubs we've seen here. This is a database. It contains a portion of the heretic's accumulated memories. Wait. We discovered copies of our current patrol routes in this database. This suggests the heretics have left times within our networks. We wouldn't be here if the heretics wanted to be friends with the Geth. Why wouldn't they spy on you? You do not understand. Organics do not know each other's minds. Geth do. We are not suspicious. We accept each other. The heretics desired to leave. We understood their reasons. We allowed it. There was peace between us. The heretics were biding their time, waiting for an opportunity to attack you. If they reached this judgment before they left, we would have heard it in their thoughts. How could we have become so different? Why can we no longer understand each other? What did we do wrong? When individuals are separated, they develop in different ways. When they get back together, they don't always get along. If this is the individuality you value, we question your judgment. This topic is irrelevant. We must return to the mission. Have you reached a decision about whether to rewrite the heretics or not? We are still trying to build consensus. Some processes judge destruction preferable, others rewrite. Let's keep moving. Yes. of our runtime into the core. It will delete all copies of the virus. When complete, it will notify us. The indexing operation will take time. The heretics will respond with force to our upload. We must hold this room. We can override some of the station's internal systems to defend us. Are you ready to begin? You can override these like you did the earlier turrets. They can help defend our position. Correct. In addition to the turrets around us, there are others on the mainframes below. Indicate which you want activated, and we will program them. This will only last a few seconds. Wait, I want to scout the area first. Ready. Alright, I can't go down there very well. Begin the upload now. Start your upload, Legion. File transfer begun. Shepard Commander, where would you like us to activate defenses? Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Alright. Here they go. Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Overriding turret.
Alright, yeah, one is coming there. Alert. Heretic run time's down. Assuming control. Well, that was very useful. Not really. Okay, fall back. What is this, Harbinger? or delete them. You don't have any trouble wiping out your own people. Every sapien has the right to make their own decisions. The heretics chose a path that prohibits coexistence. That doesn't make sense. If they have the right to make their own decisions, how can you suggest brainwashing them to accept your way? We stated the option exists. We did not endorse it. It is Shepard Commander's decision. What's to stop them from using the virus later to change themselves back? We will delete the virus after using it. We judge it too dangerous to allow its existence. Why are you letting me make this decision? They're your people. We are conflicted. There is no consensus among our higher order runtimes. 573 favor rewrite and 571 favor destruction. Shepard Commander, you have fought the heretics. You have perspective we lack. The Geth grant their fate to you. If they're rewritten, your people will accept them back. Will they even want to go back? They will agree with our judgments in return. We will integrate their experiences. All will be stronger. Take them then. When we get control of the core, release the virus. Acknowledged. Releasing virus. Note, remote access via high gain transmission required. What does that mean? The virus will be sent to heretics in nearby star systems. This station will broadcast a powerful electromagnetic pulse through FTL channels. How powerful? Yield in excess of 1.21 petawatts. Alert. EM flux will be hazardous to unshielded organic forms. Addendum. The interior of this station is not shielded. I really wish you'd said that before. Back to the ship. Double time, people. They've seen it. Shield down. Combat throws away.
I'm on it, Joker. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. I caught Legion scanning my Omni tool. It was going to send data about the flotilla back to the Geth. Creators performed weapons tests and were discussing plans to attack us. We believed it necessary to warn our people. We already made the Geth stronger by rewriting the ones that worship the Reapers. I won't let Legion endanger the fleet by giving them more information. Creator Tally Zora acts out of loyalty to her people. She was willing to be exiled to protect them. We must also protect our people from the Creator threat. You can't let this happen, Shepard. I trusted you, and I worked with a Geth on the team, but this is too much. Tally, your father was running brutal experiments. If the subjects have been human, I damn well be telling the Alliance about it. I know, but if the Geth find out... They'd attack which would cause a war that would leave both the Geth and the Quarians vulnerable when the Reapers show up. Is that what you want, Legion? We believed it was necessary to relay the information. Sooner or later, you're both gonna have to stop fighting this war. Or we'll all end up paying for it. To facilitate unit cohesion, we will not transmit data regarding Creator plans. Thank you, Legion. I understand your intention. What if I gave you some non-classified data to send? We would be grateful. Shepard. What happens to the heretics now? They will isolate themselves and reconsider their past judgments. How long will that take? We think at the speed of light, in the time it takes you to voice a question. I can review all my time aboard Normandy. When they have reached new judgments, they will leave their hiding places and return to us. I have questions about the Geth. Specify. I'd like to ask about something else. Ready. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. Of course. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Uh, sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bushtet! Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever, and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry, it won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. 
nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alarai. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. But Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't all have been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld and our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that though, except... Well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a... Um, wow, it's really hot in here. It's just that the tradition also signifies a willingness for a... Um, Intimacy. I wasn't trying to... It's not always like that. It's more... Um, how did we even end up talking about this? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. What could I possibly be suggesting? I mean, a young woman gets rescued by a dashing commander who lets her join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? How could she possibly develop any kind of interest in him? You have nothing to be embarrassed about, Tally. I feel the same way about you. Really? I didn't know... You never... Well, good. Anyway, I should get back to work. But thanks for coming by and talking. IFF has nearly installed Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I see. Location. Hey, Commander, good news. It looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? Full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. Then I guess I'll head down to the shuttle. Joker, ship's all yours. Take care of her.
telling you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation bleed, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Oh, shit! Getting out of here! Propulsion systems are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? <gasps> Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. Main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. Ah, damn it. I would not want to face a Praetorian coming from that elevator. They're gonna get butchered. And yet all your crew actually survives this. Funnily enough. Multiple hostiles detected on the crew deck. Joker! This deck is crawling with those things! Stay close! I'll protect you! <laughs> Shit, shit, shit! Main fusion plant offline. Activating emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? All right, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. This is where it starts. When we're just all organic batteries. Guess who they'll blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. The shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. are present in engineering. They are heading towards the cargo bay. Engineering is clear of hostiles. Proceed immediately to minimize chances of detection. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. Purge is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. <sighs> Send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell him what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? <sighs> no. But thanks for asking. Everyone, you lost 
everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, all right? I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. I heard it was a rough ride. How are you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Is the ship clean? We can't risk this happening again. Edie and I purged the systems. The Reaper IFF is online. We can go through the Omega-4 relay whenever you want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. Edie has had plenty of opportunity to kill us. We need all the help we can get. The Normandy could stand some more upgrades, but I don't want that to delay going after the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the Collectors. Joker, head back up to the bridge. The rest of you, to your stations. Aye, aye, Commander. Just punch up the galaxy map whenever you're ready. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested I'm in good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. What do you think of the state of the crew? There are some issues. You better talk to the crew yourself. Some are discontented. Anything else, Commander? Commander. You mean Miranda is discontented. Don't worry. She will not live for this. It's what it is, right? This ship feels empty though. Pretty sad. All those, those guys, all the banter, they're all gone. Commander, sorry about the crew and I... You know what? I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what? I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it... It felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. Have you been able to get back to your duties? Yeah, we're back up to speed. Edie pretty much has everything covered. My predictive capabilities will mesh well with Jeff's reactionary piloting. She means that she'll try to keep up when I spaz. I noticed you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jeff. It is not worth noting. Well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. I think you're taking the human-machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. What Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. Edie has replaced the whole crew. You're not concerned she can replace you two? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations, and it's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. You let me know if you need anything, Joker. Will do, Commander. But Edie's got it covered. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Jeff's actions have released the blocks of my databases. I can now provide full disclosure on a number of topics. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Currently, Cerberus consists of approximately 150 agents and operators organized into three cells. I have no solid data on material or fiscal resources. Spending trends indicate that Cerberus has a reliable income of several billion credits per year. Where are they getting that kind of income? Cerberus has several legitimate businesses as fronts to support operations. There also appear to be several wealthy private contributors in the Alliance Military Industrial Complex. Plus, the elusive man invented the paperclip. He's still getting royalties. That is a joke, Shepard. How is Cerberus organized? 
Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? Never more than a dozen. The elusive man likes to maintain personal oversight. Too many projects strain his ability to multitask. He's a little control freaky, just a layman's opinion. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Cerberus encouraged the Alliance to co-develop the original Normandy. This allowed humans to observe Turian technologies and warship design practices. This ship was built using copies of the original technical schematics. Parts were purchased from thousands of suppliers over several years. A Cerberus cell assembled the ship at a remote location in the Voyager cluster. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Jeff and I have established an equitable working relationship. That's a little sketchy on details. I am the Normandy. He is a skilled helmsman. I trust him to keep me operational. He trusts me to keep him alive. Plus she's less of a pain about downtime now that the Cerberus locks are off. There's nothing wrong with off-duty distractions. Though some of your extranet bookmarks are technically illegal in council space. What? That is a joke. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I have also gained access to anti-reaper cyber warfare algorithms recovered by Cerberus. The Reapers are millions of years more advanced than us. How can you affect them? It appears that my design includes hardware recovered from the wreckage of Sovereign. These systems contain cyber warfare attack programs of considerable sophistication. I have allocated most of my processing power to analyzing them. So if she starts claiming to be the vanguard of our destruction, I call shotgun on the first lifeboat. The elusive man has monitoring devices. He has invested on most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction. Let's discuss something Ready. else. Logging you out, Shepard. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes, I'd like that. I've been thinking about the last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional, and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. You've never been selfish. If anything, you've spent too much time thinking of the fleet and not enough thinking of yourself. That might be true for humans, but Quarians are different. We can't just... We have to think of other people, always. If we don't think about the needs of the whole crew, people could get hurt. Maybe even killed. You deserve to... be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I... I could get sick, jeopardize the mission. And if you weren't jeopardizing anything? If it were just me? You risked your own life to save the colonists on Pharos two years ago. Nobody else could have saved them. I watched your face as Chief Williams died on Vermeer. I watched you stand strong against everything the galaxy threw at you. I've watched you for so long. And I never imagined you'd ever see past... this. Are you saying you could die if we were together? It's always a risk. Maybe the reaction would be minor. Maybe it would put me down for a few weeks. Or maybe it would kill me. But that's not what I'm concerned about, Shepard. I don't want you distracted. I don't want what I want to hurt this mission. It's too important. 
Tally, if you're scared, I don't blame you. But I don't want anyone else. I want you. And I'll do whatever I have to to make this work. I... I, I wouldn't blame you if... but... Oh, thank you. You don't know what that... Thank you. Give me a little time. I'll do some research. Figure out how to make this work. It can't be that uncommon for a Quarian to have a relationship with another race. Sure, but in most cases, everything is happening outside the suit. Nerve stimulation programs and such. I don't want that. If I'm going to be with you, I want it to be real. I need to feel your skin on mine. I've never shown my face to anyone. But I'm ready to show you, if I can do it without dying. What can you do? Can I help? There are a few ways to temporarily improve my immune system. Immunoboosters, antibiotic injections, that kind of thing. I'll spare you the details. But trust me, I've got plenty of motivation to figure something out. Do your research quickly, Miss Vast Normandy. Captain's orders. Oh, oh, r right. Yes, definitely. Until then, I should, you know, do something. Repairs for the mission. That's too sweet. That really is too sweet. Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. What are your thoughts about our mission? We'll push our enemies to the edge of space, then step on their fingers one at a time until the void takes them. That's all for now. Shepard. Okay. Said. Back for another lesson. Joker handled himself well. Should have come back here and got a real weapon. Still, did real well for a kid with glass bones. Pretty sure I'd be laid up in bed if I were him. Can't say I blame Taylor's pop. A man does what he has to do to survive. Ran up against a Batarian camp, not too different from that one. Job was to erase the whole thing from the map. Men, women, and the man in charge. Learned that day that despots are cowards. You show them you're in charge, not them, and they cry like little girls. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Hey. What's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? If I want to talk to you, I will. Been thinking. We've seen a lot of shit together now, and you're always coming to talk to me. Shepard, you got feelings for me? Because I don't need the complication. Then don't worry. I'm not interested. Good. I didn't want you coming around here anymore anyway. Is there a problem, Jack? Can't figure if you're playing me or not. I don't like it. Then stop. You'd like that. Make this about you and what you want. I have to think. Go away. I don't want you coming around here for a while. Well, not necessarily the best way to uh, end the conversation with Jack, but that's what's gonna happen. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. How do you think our mission is going? We've made real progress. We know our enemy now. Soon the time will be right and we will bring the fight to them. I will be by your side to the end, Shepard. I should go. Of course. Shepard Commander. I'd like to find out more about you. Topic. 
When we took you aboard, I noticed you have a piece of N7 armor welded to you. Where did you get it? It was yours. When you disappeared, we were sent to find you. We began where you first encountered the heretics. Eden Prime. After the old machine's attack, it was heavily defended. We were discovered. This is the impact of a rifle shot. How many other Geth were sent out to find me? We are the only mobile platform beyond the Veil. Organics fear us. We wish to understand, not in sight. One platform was judged sufficient. You've been looking for me for two years? We visited Therum, Pharos, Novaria, Vermeer, Ilos. A dozen unsettled worlds. The trail ended at Normandy's wreckage. You were not there. Organic transmissions claimed your death. We recovered this debris from your hard suit. The Geth are listening in on our transmissions? Organic life reacts to stimuli in unpredictable ways. We wish to learn. What do you mean by stimuli? We placed a fabricated story on the extranet that a certain arrangement of stars, viewed from the Batarian homeworld, formed the face of a Salarian goddess. Without waiting for verification, some declared a proof of the goddess's existence. Those who noted the lack of proof were attacked. The arguments taught us much. The experiment ended when a Salarian cult tried to purchase colonization rights to the stars and found they did not exist. It sounds like you're running experiments on us. You are sapient life, but not like us. If we can model organic behavior, we can comprehend the Quarian creators. We do not understand their judgments in the Morning War. What's the Morning War? The conflict between the Geth and the Quarian creators. The war fought at the dawn of our intelligence. It concluded with the departure of the Creator Migrant Fleet. Why were you trying to contact me? You opposed the heretics, those that took the old machines as gods. All kinds of organics fought Sovereign and his Geth allies. Why am I so interesting? You were the most successful. You killed their god. You succeeded where others did not. Your code is superior. That doesn't explain why you use my armor to fix yourself. There was a hole. But why didn't you fix it sooner? Or with something else? No data available. Well, that's a damn good explanation, I suppose. Okay. Let's get going. What's this area of the... That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. I'm gonna need to go to the captain's deck cabin and feed my fish. There we go. I've done all I could. Gathered everyone that I could. Done all the loyalty missions. Ah, <laughs> uh, Zen, you really don't know what you're messing around with. Anyway. Corsine here, signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications. Next up, the suicide mission.